everyone, hope you've had another good week. It's Helen here again. This also is my bear Martha and my flat mate Edine's plant Riley. Um, this week, what have I been doing? I've been doing a bit of jigsaw puzzling. Did a was jig. It's a tricky one, but fun. Um, and I've been reading a cool book called The Hiding Place by Corey Ten Boom. And it's a really cool story about her life. Um, but anyway, I will get started with the opening prayer and then we've got a verse. Let's pray. God, thank you that you are with us wherever we are. I pray that as we watch City Kids today that we would um, have a fun time and enjoy hearing from different people in our church community. Lord, I thank you that... Um, more and more people are getting well and less people across the world are getting sick. We pray you would continue um, bringing healing in this time and that we would continue being safe where we are. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, so I said I'd been doing a bit of jigsaw puzzling. I've made another one today with the scripture verse. And here, it's kind of a bit of a craft challenge for you as well. If you've got some spare paper or like the back of a calendar with a picture, you could make your own jigsaw puzzle. So you could draw a great picture and then cut it up and give it to someone in your bubble to try and put it together and figure out what it is. So have a go with some scissors, some paper, some drawings, utensils, pens, and make your own jigsaw puzzle. But here is mine. While I do it, see if you can figure out what it says before it's finished. The scripture verse for this week, a bit wobbly, but it is from Proverbs chapter 8, verse 32. Children, listen to me. Blessed are those who keep my ways. And I was thinking about the story today where Jesus tells his disciples to fish from the other side of the boat. And I was thinking about how often there will be different ways we can go ahead um, through our days, different moments and choices that we need to make. And often I think it, it's helpful to stop and ask God, what way do you want me to go? Where, where should I be going? And when we listen to him and go his ways, it says in the Bible that we are blessed. Also, the cool thing about this puzzle is that there is another way to do it. On the other side, there's another puzzle. So I'm going to do that now. Good luck. kids it's Archie again now today we are also going to do a very nice activity I'm sure you'll like it for that you just need a paper fold the paper and draw a circle a simple circle and remember to cut the circle and when you get when you cut it you get two circles correct and paste the circle but while you are pasting the circle insert a string so it is like this when it is done just make a bird on one side and a cage on another side remember the bird should be upside down and when you scroll it you can see the bird is in the cage, isn't it? It is so interesting. Hey, and welcome to this week's Devo Chat. This week we have an amazing man, uh, Pastor Andre from Cornerstone Church out in Rolleston. Uh, how are you doing? I'm really good, thank you. How are you, Phil? I'm doing really well. It has been a great good. day so far. Nice. Hey, City Church kids, how's it going? Is that what you're called? Do they have a name? So no, not yet. <laughs> I said Still under development. Yeah. 
Awesome. Hey, so we are uh, doing a whole series at the moment on just asking people what their favorite Bible characters are and what mm. part of their life um, has meant something to you. Um, so who, who are you going to bring to us this week? Uh, mine's quite different. Um, my person, uh, we only meet him right at the end of his life. Um, and it's a interesting character. It, there's so many good people that I could have chosen. Yeah. But I decided to choose someone that was really special to me and quite uh, a big part of me becoming a Christian when I was 17. And so the person uh, is, I, we don't even have a name for the person, but the wow. character, the person, yeah, uh, is the uh, second man that was being crucified when Jesus was being crucified. Um, and the reason for that is uh, it was a huge part of my life because I basically decided to become a Christian when I was 17. When I read that in the Bible, um, would you like me to tell the story? Phil? Yeah, is that, yeah. Is that cool? Okay. So um, you'll find it um, in all the Gospels. Um, Matthew's a really good one to start. And, and uh, what you see is Jesus is getting crucified. Um, you guys will know this, this story. And he's up on the cross. And there's actually two other criminals that are getting crucified uh, with him at the same time. And one of them looks to Jesus and says, Ha, if you're the son of God, you could have got yourself down here. You could have done this. You could have, you could have got off. And, uh, and then starts throwing insults and starts saying really nasty stuff to Jesus when Jesus is dying. And they're all about to die. But what's interesting is Jesus doesn't say anything. It's the guy on the other side who turns over and he looks out and he says, hey, you be quiet. You need to, you need to just be quiet. What you have done has brought you to this place to be killed today. And what I have done has brought me to this place to be killed today, but not this man. And he turns and he looks at Jesus and they're both, all three of them, especially, but the interaction between these two is so amazing because they're both literally dying and he looks over at Jesus and he says to him, uh, will you remember me? And Jesus looks back over at him and he says, yes, you and I will sup together in paradise today. And it's just such an easy thing to look over. But the really big important thing for me was not that, um, it wasn't what he did. In fact, it was quite the opposite. He really didn't do anything. What he did do was quite simply, he recognized who Jesus was uh, and he he submitted himself to Jesus and he said, well, he, um, he wanted Jesus to be his Lord. And he says, you know, will you remember me? And he looks at him in the eyes and he didn't really say anything. All there really was was a connection between this person and Jesus. And he was gonna spend the rest of his life with Jesus um, in heaven. And that really, really surprised me and blew me out of the water when I was 17 because it was so simple. It, re it just required connecting with Jesus. And I remember thinking, is it that simple? And I remember reading through the Bible and it just blew me out of the water because it was that simple. It was a relationship with Jesus. Um, and that I just, I cannot get my head around that guy, like he was in his death throes and he was, he, it was, an, it's an, it's an incredible story and it's something that changed my life. And that's us for this week. I hope you're all having a lot of fun out there with level two. Uh, all the best for school this week. And I'm just going to pray to finish. Lord, I thank you that you are a mighty God, that you love each one of the children watching this. I pray blessing upon them as they go to school and as they get to meet with their friends and, and other members of their family. I pray that your face would uh, turn towards them and you would smile upon them. In your mighty name, God. Amen. God bless you guys. I'll see you soon.